We were stunned when we saw the first design exercise for the TT. Um, I mean, it really was completely different to anything we'd seen before at, um, at Audi. It had these huge wheels that completely filled the wheel arches, and it was, it was like one of these uh, design exercises you see at the Royal College of Art um, student show and the Coventry uh, design course, you know, um, the students make up a clay model of what they think a car is going to look like in, you know, 10 years time. This is my ultimate car, 100%. There's nothing else on the market now, uh, even two years on from when I first bought it, that actually I would swap this for at all. Like any true coupe, the TT has always been able to hide its more humble underpinnings. Under those sexy curves lies the floor plan of the last generation Golf. You look back through Audi's history, and, um, and it's a really illustrious one as well, but, but they were doing great cars, I mean really stunningly good cars, even before the Audi Quattro. Um, they were doing the Audi 200 Turbo, it was a stonking car, I mean really just went like the wind. And okay, it didn't have the image that um, the TT has now, but uh, certainly they were putting down the foundations of very, very quick and, and very stable and very exciting cars long before the TT. So if you are the one who likes to judge the book by its cover, in the case of the Audi TT, you won't be disappointed.